lots of you this week have been commenting on one video. It's a video that's about a year old and you're all commenting the same thing. You're correcting my spelling. You're correcting my spelling of one word in a subject that I don't teach. So here I am telling you that I can't spell and I'm perfectly okay with that fact. And I've come up with a load of reasons why I'm okay with the fact that I can't spell and you should be okay with the fact that I can't spell as well. Words and numbers get jumbled up in my head and I'm over being annoyed with this because it's always been like this and I found ways to cope with it. If you are going to write me a very rude post criticising my spellings, you should probably get your spelling correct. Your and your. The majority of people who incorrectly spell things when they're criticising my spelling use this one, whereas I think they mean to use this one, which is you are. Getting your spelling wrong in a post criticising my spelling greatly diminishes your point. And it's not just me, my spelling that you're criticising. You're having a go at loads and loads of people. And honestly, some of you are being a bit mean. Now, I, you know, I know people a lot younger than me and you watch these videos, so I've actually got quite a lot of filters set up for the really, really mean and sweary reads the words that you use, but quite frankly, some of you just being a bit mean to other people, and it's not very nice. Everyone comes here to learn, so just let them learn and don't have a go at them about their spelling. It has been shown by, I think it was the University of Cambridge that did this study, that you don't actually need the letters in the right order to be able to understand a word. For example, you should be able to work out what I mean by this. All you need is the first letter and the last letter and the, number, well, the numbers, words, thingy bobbies, letters in the middle don't actually make any difference to your understanding of a sentence. So if I get two letters the wrong way around, you still understand what I mean. There is no need for you to start shouting at me because of it. In science, there is one question on the paper where your quality of written communication is taken into account. And only ever once have I seen spelling mentioned in the mark scheme. The two words the exam board insists you spell correctly are burette and pipette. Now, because I know this, I point it out in any video that I make that you have to spell these two words correctly. The majority of the time, the mark scheme says almost faultless spelling, punctuation and grammar. So getting two letters the wrong way round will not make you fail your exams, as somebody tried to point out. It just won't make you fail your exams if you get an I and an E the wrong way around. And just levelling the amount of abuse that some of you, not all of you, are firing in my direction recently because I got two letters the wrong way around. Um, seems slightly, seems slightly um, unjust. So I'm not going to adjust my spelling um, because I have no problem with it. I am not going to spend my time learning how to spell loads and loads of words because I'm going to spend my time making revision videos for you guys which are going to include spelling mistakes. If you don't like it, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to change. Um, and then once I've finished making the Viridian videos, I'm going to go and spend time at the park and with my toddler and I'm not going to spend my time spelling because I'm okay with it. So I'm okay with my spelling. Please, can you be okay with my spelling as well? Because I'm not changing.